Well, I've just been commissioned to make a new engine cover for uh, a fellow boater uh, round here. I personally think it's a big mistake. The only fabric I had to hand was fish TV. So this is the moment of truth, is it? Yeah, I, um, I've sprayed my cover with um, proofing spray, but I've got a Velcro uh, strap and as you can see I haven't put the velcro all the way to the end so the reason I've not done that so that it can come together and then with my glove I can still rip it off and that's why I did it that way and that was a top tip provided by Colin yes it was and I thought I'd share it because I think it's a good top tip the presents that we received a couple of weeks back were these little bits of wood uh, so Beverly and I are finally going to be putting them in but what we've decided is um, we want the wood to be very snug um, as it slides in and out um, and if we put them in as they are now um, they're going to wobble that bottom step is going to wobble so what we're going to do is we're going to remove a thin slither of wood which uh, corresponds to the sides and then hopefully the bottom step will not wobble that is the plan um, also while we're doing the uh, bottom step um, we thought that we would uh, varnish our other steps because they're well worn but one of the uh, tasks that I thought was going to be very difficult which is removing these rubbers here uh, is actually very easy all I've got to do is pull it and uh, the job's done. Pull it gently. Pull it gently and the job's done. Well, Bevy did an absolutely fantastic job. We've done most of the cut we need. And this is the tiny slither of wood that we're taking off. I have to say the old saw. Oh, it's done a fantastic job. Right, well, we've got the slot cut in the side. It needs a little bit of sanding to smooth it all off and just um, make some adjustments to it. Um, the groove is a little bit deeper than the uh, thing it's got to go over, but that's okay. We're happy with that because if it was too shallow, we'd never get this fitted. It's better to be a little bit on the deep side. And then what we'll do is we will clamp this to either side of the companionway bulkhead, make sure the lower step can slide in and out. And once we've established that, we will screw through from this side of the bulkhead where we've got easy access to put large screws through. And we'll screw into this three or four screws to hold it in place and then that will allow the bottom step to slide up and down for easy removal when working on the engine and that is going to be so good. One of the other jobs we're going to do is we're going to varnish this area here uh, above the step and as part of that we are going to take off these surrounds that you see here because it'll be easy to get the varnish done up to the edge of the wood and also it'll give us the opportunity to take out the old voltage points that the previous owners had put in that we have absolutely no use for and they just get in the way. So all the surrounding the steps is going to have to come out. Um, there's no shortcuts in a boat. If you're going to do the job, do it right. Well, Beverly and I are the last of the big spenders. Um, I've just put these clips on our mooring rope to make the docking uh, stick. They cost uh, a pound from the local hardware shop. And I'm now, we're now going to go and fit a uh, joker valve which cost a pound unfortunately the um the cost of the uh postage was a lot more than that no it is not a big extension and i want it back i cannot believe that you are Putting water in my bilge. Gotta test the bilge pump. <sighs> Certainly do. Here it comes. <laughs> well, the manual one seems to be fixed, so now it's the case of testing the electric one, which I think is this one. Doesn't go on very often. I'm not actually convinced there's enough water left in here. Yeah, it's working. OK, 
Okay, so this is the manual bilge pump. Um, the reason I'm holding it is because one of the crew yanked it out uh, under testing yesterday. Um, Beverly's bilge test worked fine, so I was just um, having a go and um, the hinge pin goes through here and it's held on by the lid so when the lid pops off if you keep pumping the hinge pin falls out and then you wind up with this. Um, getting the rubber bellows back on was a bit of a pain so what I've done is I've put a little bit of CT1 just a very thin bead of it in here and push the bellows back on it and seal it up. Um, I suspect if the bellows ever goes I'll have to pick the whole thing out anyway I probably need a new bellows or maybe even a new pump I don't know so I'm not worried about the CT1 feature I'm hoping that'll be okay. I have got the um, surround all masked off. I've got to silicone it back in to uh, seal it up. Um, I've got my flat valve there and I've got my duck valve which I was waving around earlier installed here. So we're all good to go if I can get this back in. Um, it, did, it did work. It passed its test. So if I put it all back in again. Um, I don't know if we're going to fill the bilges up with water and test it one more time. We know the mechanism works now and that's the important thing. So this is where you're finding out if, you're, if your instructional videos are any use or not. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and how are you doing that check? <laughs> I'm having to do a three braid splice. And you've forgotten, haven't you? Of course I've forgotten. I did this apparently in 2018, for goodness sake. Um, but this is our um, hook that we uh, use for our snubber. Our chain hook. Our chain hook for our snubber. Um, but we saw this other uh, hook and we've decided to have give this a go because in really bumpy weather, uh, sometimes this hook uh, drops off. Um, the only difference between the hooks is uh, the poundage on this is slightly smaller than this one. So, um, you know, but... The one, the one in the chain hook is 1,000 kilograms. Yes, whereas uh, this, this is 960. 960. So it's not that far off. But, um, you know, it's just the fact that it's got, a, it's got a, a gate. So that means it will never fall off. Whereas this one, in really bouncy weather... It's only in bouncy weather it has fallen off occasionally. To be honest, in really bouncy weather we tend to put a uh, rolling hitch on the chain so now we've got two snubber hooks. Instead, yeah. So, but yeah, if it's a very bouncy then we'll put a rolling hitch as a safety because what we don't want is um, any pressure on the windlass. No. And now that I've fixed it, I definitely don't want that. But uh, yeah, I'm having to watch my own uh, instructional video and there's a link to it up there. So how's the uh, varnishing project coming along, Bev? Uh, slowly but surely. We've decided that we will do all the sanding tonight. We're not going to do any varnishing tonight because the varnish we have releases a lot of fumes. So we're going to varnish in the morning and then we can leave the hatch open all day. That will be a lot more pleasant than varnishing at night and having to breathe it all in. That won't do us any good at all. Um, doing the sanding is raising a heck of a lot of dust. I'm covered in the stuff. But one of our viewers recommended don't use white spirit because it leaves a waxy residue. Go and get some meths. So we've been trying it and I think he has a point. It dries very quickly, it doesn't seem to leave a residue. Um, so we're going to give meths a go for this sanding job and see how it works out. And if we run out of rum, hmm, well, we'll just not go there. Hey, where are you going? Somebody has put varnish on my steps. So this is how we're going to get out. Tell you now, that was anything but ladylike. You should have seen it from down here. <laughs> so you made it then? Yeah, I made it. All this to get a bit of wood. <laughs> and here, in the boat, we can see the hatch giving birth to the Gainerous Sailoress as she, as she comes through the birth canal. It appears it was an awkward delivery, but the baby has arrived. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 
come in. Well, the steps are done. Uh, in all their glory. We're going to give the varnish another couple of days to dry thoroughly. We've got a little bit of fiddling and faddling to do with the uh, bits that will allow the bottom step to slide up. They just are a wee bit tight and require a little bit of sanding before fitting but we want them to dry out too. We're not putting up our checklists um, just yet because let the varnish dry. But the job is done and I think we're both very glad that we've done it because it looks so much better for it. But it's a major pain not having a door into the boat. I'm just glad we have it back. Mm -hmm.